Hi everyone. In this video, you're going to discover seven important cybersecurity skills you must learn. My name is Lauren and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro fast. Let's get started. Security professionals with updated skills and relevant experience can earn somewhere between $80,000 and $152,000 US dollars, according to CompTIA research. Cybersecurity is a growing market with high demand for talent. With each breach costing around $4.25 million to businesses, the industry services are in higher demand than ever. And this will result in 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity job posts by the end of 2025. Wondering which cybersecurity skills are worth learning? Let me show you. Number one, operating systems and virtual machines. Enterprises and organizations have various operating systems and virtual machines in their network. If you do not understand how computers are configured, how they operate, how they are maintained, and what features they have, how will you figure out what may go wrong with them? You can only be an effective security analyst or expert after gaining extensive knowledge of major OSs like Linux, Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS, their CLIs, their vulnerabilities, and other related technicalities. Learning about the threats concerning these operating systems and virtual machines will be a plus. Special tip, make sure to learn Linux OSs, especially Kali Linux for ethical hacking, because it is very helpful in penetration testing as well as digital forensics. Number two, networking and system administration. Interconnectedness for an organization is a boon as well as a bane. It's the network that allows people to collaborate and communicate. However, it's also via the network that threat actors access unsecured endpoints and carry out attacks, resulting in breaches. So, after learning the basic components of a network, you must have a deep understanding of the network's hardware, networking, and administration. This knowledge will help you prevent cyber criminals from exploiting network-oriented vulnerabilities in your organization and thus save the business's precious digital assets. A cybersecurity professional must learn about routers, firewalls, and switches alongside gaining the skills to configure, manage, and troubleshoot them. You should also ensure you have a good grasp of Linux server administration skills. Special tip, go for a certification like Cisco CCNA or CompTIA Security Plus to gain essential networking skills and a badge that the cybersecurity sector respects. Number three, cybersecurity frameworks. Just like there are many development and designing frameworks, cybersecurity frameworks also exist in abundance. They are your gateway to the industry's best practices standards, policies, protocols, and tools. As a security professional, you should learn about these popular frameworks, notable attacks, common vulnerabilities, and useful data security implementations. Now, which frameworks you should learn will depend upon the industry you are serving and the region of your service. These are the most useful ones. NIST. Cybersecurity Framework, General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, HIPAA, if you work closely with healthcare organizations, ISO 27001, CIS, Critical Security Controls Version 8, SOC 2 by AICPA. With updated knowledge of security-related regulations and cyber laws in your area, you will add more value to your organization. It will also help you protect the legal rights of your employer or clients. Number four, basics of programming, scripting, and humans. 
programming and scripting create digital applications and the network that your organization uses. So if you do not understand code or scripts at all, you may fail to find the malicious code that threat actors have inserted. To gain an upper edge, you can focus on learning the following. Python, which is used in designing script-based tools for site navigation, SQL injections, XSS testing, and so on. JavaScript, as cybercriminals use it to carry out cross-site scripting attacks and loophole exploitation. Assembly, as it will help you act against malware and viruses faster. Golang is suitable for cryptography and is a trending language among security professionals. In addition, you should also understand the basics of C, C++, PHP, HTML, and SQL. Taking up the CEH course and passing this certification will also be a good plan. Now, humans are your venture's other inseparable part. The trivia here is social or human-based engineering is so lethal that it has accounted for around 98% of cyber attacks. So focus on how you can make the humans using your network less vulnerable to cyber attacks or increase their understanding of how the brain of a cyber criminal works. It will help you strengthen your cybersecurity strategy and improve your defense mechanism. Number five, threat modeling. Cybersecurity is essential because the digital world is full of cyber threats. So by knowing how a threat acts in a particular environment, how to perform mitigation and how to guard against it, you will be able to design better security policies and deploy better strategies. For this, threat modeling can be a great help. After all, it is the process of imitating and understanding a threat's complete life cycle. Through it, you can figure out how a typical cyber criminal may break into your system and act. Useful for various types of systems, web applications, and networks, threat modeling will help you in major cybersecurity operations, such as risk management and mitigation, network assessment and monitoring, and intrusion prevention, detection, handling, and response. Number six, DevOps security. DevOps is a set of practices that aims at streamlining the development and operations process throughout the lifecycle of a software or digital product, ensuring agile development and continuous delivery. As the process also focuses on code quality and product security, there is a huge career scope for cybersecurity professionals. In fact, there is a whole new branch called DevSecOps dedicated to the same. The idea of DevOps security is to integrate security practices throughout the DevOps deployment alongside performing security testing on every phase of the SDLC. This requires the constant involvement of cybersecurity experts during software development, evolution, and maintenance. Special tip. If you are interested in DevOps security, you can go for a DevOps certification like DevSecOps Foundation. If you have passed the foundation level, DevSecOps Practitioner can be your next option. Number seven, cloud security. Businesses are increasingly digitizing their operations and moving to the cloud. With more organizations utilizing the cloud space, the world needs more experts to improve the security of cloud-based IT infrastructure. And that's why the salaries of specialists with GCP Cloud Security Engineer Certification average $150,000 today. CISOs can earn around $180,000. Lucrative, isn't it? Well, then you must consider gaining the cloud security skill and upgrading your market value super fast. Your job responsibilities will include designing and maintaining the security systems of your organization, monitoring the IT infrastructure and network for intrusion, devising a cloud security strategy and implementing it, updating the systems and cloud technologies as the situation demands, and software updates and monitoring. Four tips to grow fast once you have acquired cybersecurity expertise. 
Now that you know the cybersecurity skills you must learn, it is suggested that you start working on gaining them fast. Also, make sure to follow these four tips while you do so. Become a certified expert. Gaining expertise in any field is essential. It gives you the skills required to perform well in your sector. However, to take the first step towards building your career, you need exposure. A good certification gives you this exposure. Therefore, alongside improving your skills, find out the most suitable certifications or certification path related to the cybersecurity niche you are planning to enter. Also, as you step up in your career, ensure you upgrade your certifications and skills. Be a better professional. Cybersecurity professionals are required to interact with developers, designers, security professionals, and organization employees that are not techies. So, besides working on your technical skills, you must consider improving your interpersonal skills, collaboration methods, and ways to deliver knowledge to technical and non-technical system users. Problem solving and troubleshooting. As a security professional, your work is to find out what can go wrong and how to prevent it. And then you must know how to solve a problem once it has taken over a system or a network. To achieve these objectives, you need to continually sharpen your problem solving and troubleshooting skills. Stay updated. The behavior of cyber criminals depends a lot upon the technologies they are targeting. With the technology world always changing, it is essential for cybersecurity experts to consider upgrading their knowledge, tools, and methods. If you fail at it, you will fail at your job. For instance, businesses are shifting to artificial intelligence, blockchain, IoT, and machine learning technologies for their products and applications. So you must also have a sound knowledge of how these technologies work. Not only will it help you come up with a reliable cybersecurity strategy, but you will also be able to automate security operations and save time with their help. Thanks to the cyber criminal becoming smarter and causing trouble to businesses all the time, cybersecurity is a forever budding industry that keeps branching and growing. For fresh talents or experienced IT professionals looking forward to entering the cybersecurity domain, there exists many golden opportunities. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.